A persistent cough, sharp pain, high fever, or itchy rash are all signs you might need to see a doctor. But what if there are no symptoms telling you that something is wrong? Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is back to help me reveal five silent threats to our health. Welcome. Thank you so much, always a pleasure. So let's start at the top, right? Your eyes may be at risk. So about half of the people who have glaucoma in the United States don't even know that they have it. Why? Because early and middle stages of the disease, there may be no noticeable symptoms. Glaucoma is an eye disorder that can lead to blindness. You may lose up to 40% of your vision before you ever even realize that anything is wrong. So here you see me getting myself checked out because the best way to stay out in front of glaucoma is to be tested regularly. Depending on your age, there are specific recommendations on how often you should see your ophthalmologist. We have another silent health threat that people need to pay attention to. It can be found from generation to generation. I'm talking about high blood pressure. It's often called the silent killer. Why? Because it often has no symptoms. Left untreated, it can damage arteries and organs. It can lead to heart failure, stroke, even kidney failure. And high blood pressure can cause vision changes and even lead to blindness. And you know, anyone can get high blood pressure, but this is a silent health threat that may actually involve race and gender. So African Americans developed high blood pressure more often and earlier than others. And more African American women have high blood pressure than men. Now, that's not the only thing that leads to high blood pressure. So there are other risk factors that may lead to the development of high blood pressure. If you smoke, if you drink too much alcohol, if you eat too much salt, if you have high levels of stress, and if you're overweight, you may be at risk. And believe it or not, did you know that certain over-the-counter medicines can increase your blood pressure? Speak to your pharmacist or healthcare provider before taking medicines, because if you have high blood pressure, blood flows through those arteries at a higher than normal pressure. That can cause your heart to work too hard, in some cases leading to heart failure. That's why I always say know your numbers, have your blood pressure checked at least once every two years or more, certainly if abnormal. 120 over 80 or less, that's considered normal, whereas 140 over 90 or above is considered high blood pressure. You don't want high blood pressure and not know about it. Here's something else you don't want and not know about, and that is sexually transmitted diseases. So these are diseases that if undiagnosed and untreated can lead to devastating long-term health consequences. HIV, HPV, which is human papillomavirus, syphilis, hepatitis B and hepatitis C, these things can have no symptoms for long after you've contracted the disease. So the best way to manage that, if you are sexually active, and in particular, if you have multiple partners, to get checked for STDs at least once a year. Well, there's another one when it comes to yearly checkups. Even if you feel well, it could be helpful and help you detect our next silent threat. Breast and prostate cancer in their early stages are just few of the types of cancer that can have no or very few symptoms. Talk to your healthcare provider about which tests would be relevant for you because when you find diseases earlier, they may be easier to treat. Now our last silent health threat can cause your heart to literally skip a beat with atrial fibrillation, also called AFib. You may experience heart palpitations, shortness of breath, fatigue, even dizziness. But what happens with a lot of people? They have no symptoms. And what happens in AFib is the electrical signals that control your heartbeat, they're abnormal, so the top chambers of your heart, the atria, don't properly push blood through the heart, which can cause problems. And here's the danger. So the blood then pools in the atrium and blood clots can form. And if the blood clot travels to the brain and blocks blood flow, it can cause a stroke. This can lead to heart attacks and other serious heart consequences. So if you're concerned about AFib, you should talk to your doctor. But here's the good news. Many people who have AFib with treatment and changes in lifestyle can have a normal life. So Frida, you mentioned lifestyle changes. I have a fab five to live by, including healthy diet, regular exercise, limit alcohol, no smoking, and reduce stress. Can I add one? Yes. Regular mm -hmm. checkups. So for so for people who want to know whether or not they're at risk for any of these silent health threats and to know what screenings might be right for them, they can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com and while they're there, they can sign up for our monthly newsletter. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Thank such you. an important topic.